coming for his dinner. Hi, Buck. Hi, big boy. You ready for dinner? His dinner today consists of grapes, apples, and corn. That's his dinner for today. Right, big boy? You're gonna be excited. It's kind of windy, a little bit windy. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous out. Hmm, and the air smells so springy. But it's wishful thinking, because I know like it's tricky this weather. Come on, Buck. I know how to get him up here quicker, watch. What to do? Ha. Aha. Uh -huh. Is my big boy. Hi, Buck. Hey, baby. Let's see what I have for you. Look. Yeah. Yeah. And grapes. Hey, baby. You got grapes there. I have fun eating that stem of grapes. Me, eat that stem of grapes. Good boy. Enjoy your grapes. Enjoy your grapes. And I'm going to cut your apples in the meantime. While oh, you enjoy your grapes. Apple just squirted in my eye like apple juice. <laughs> All right, well, thank God. Because one time, onion juice squirted in my eye when I was cutting an onion, and that burned. That was burning. Like, it made my eye burn. The apple juice, no. Thank God. If you get onion juice in your eye, that hurts. Not like it hurts, it just burns a little bit. Right, Buck? Well, you won't know that, Buck. I won't give you onions, baby. I don't think onions would be good for you. Right, big boy? Right? It's okay. I got apples too. Did you eat your grapes? You ate it? Good boy. Here. Let me throw it? Throw it. You stop corn in your bucket, which is good. He starts corn because this morning I actually put a little bit more than usual, so I figured I didn't have to do it today. Yeah. Let me throw it. That's how you usually know when you want he wants you to throw it. He just stands there. He'll come up here if he wants me to give it to him by hand. Right, Buck? You let me know. You let me know when you want it. See, guys? You see what he's doing? Yeah, baby. It's okay. Good boy. Nobody's over there. It's okay. That's no no. Is that no no? That's no no. Yeah, that's no no. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's no, no. That's okay, baby. That's my father-in-law. He's like, he's in front of the stoop right now, which is a couple feet behind me. That's why Buck is looking. It's okay. You know, no, no. He actually, Buck likes my father-in-law a little bit more than my husband. Like, he's not scared of him. Like, my father-in-law go, like, walk past him. He won't, like, get jittery and run. Like, when my husband comes close by, he, like, starts walking away. He starts, which is crazy because... When he first started coming around, he actually got attached to my husband first. Like he would only like get really close to my husband. But then my husband stopped like coming out to feed him and I did all the feed-ins. And that's why now our bond became stronger, right big boy? Right? I think you just got a little bit more attached to me than you did with daddy. Cause daddy was never able to hand feed you, no. So mommy got a little bit, I was a little special buck. Was I the special one? Yeah. Oh my baby. <laughs> I think he likes too that I talk to him. My husband never <laughs> really spoke to him. My husband would just stand there and be like, and just do that the whole time. Right buck, what did daddy used to do? I can't even do it because I don't want to scare him. <laughs> Cause he's not used to those sounds anymore. Oh damn, who's that? The Amazon truck, shit. Amazon. Oh, 
We both. Ah, oh, this Amazon truck. Hold on, Buck. Wait, Buck, stay. Wait. Stay, Buck. Hold on. Stay, baby. A lot of people don't know about him. Mama? Yeah, I told the guy. I said, don't. Shh. I don't want them, like, letting them him talk to tell people like oh there's a buck over there thank you yeah he's my friend he's been coming here for three years three years don't come close oh ron don't yeah don't even he will yeah now it's been the time yeah he's my friend thank you it's okay, Buck. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Buck, come here. It's okay. No, because I told the guy. I don't want him, like, talking to his friends and be like, oh, there's a buck over there. So that's why I told him. I said, please, you know, don't spread the word out. Like, oh, I've seen a buck. Right, Buck? Because we don't want people coming here and bothering you. Say he left, baby left i usually don't let buck stay here when like delivery people come it's okay baby here no more he left buck buck is frozen right now you see how he acts when other people and the guy was about to walk close to us i was like no 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 like i literally stopped him in his tracks here buck right now buck is very like iffy like who the hell was that it's okay baby hey you want apples yeah he left, Buck. No more. He left. He left, baby. You want apples? Yeah. He is frozen. You frozen, Buck? It's okay, baby. He left. All right, Buck is frozen. Buck was like, I didn't like that man coming too close. He was literally about to walk like really close to us, which Buck froze, which I'm shocked he didn't run because usually he would run and he froze like he didn't know what to do. I think because he was eating too. That's why I told him. I literally like whispered to the guy like, don't, don't walk here like that. Please don't come here. I'm like, he will run. I'm like, he'll get nervous. Right, Buck? It's okay, baby. No more. He left. He left. No more. You left, baby. It's okay. You got scared? It's okay. He's not going to bother you, see? You want more apples? That owl's back. I hear it. It's close by. You want more apples, baby? Here. Let's take the stem off. Buck. Here, baby. Buck is like frozen. Here, yeah, he left. I promise you he left. Nobody's coming. I wasn't going to let him come here. Buck was probably like, hey, you let him walk a little too close for my comfort. <laughs> I didn't let him come here, baby. See, he left. No more. No more. You ready for more apples? I just flung two apples in front of him, but I don't think he's seeing it because he was, he's focusing. Hey, baby, it's okay. You want more apples? Here, Buck. Come here, baby. I think he got mad <laughs> that that truck came. It's okay. He left. He left. See? No more. Here. And I think he got mad now that that delivery guy came. Did he piss you off? He left. He's not coming here. I got apples. I got more. You want more? Look. See? Yeah, baby. You got apples. It's okay. Eat your apples. He's not going to bother you. He left. He left, baby. You were eating.
I was surprised that Buck didn't run when the delivery guy started walking like towards us. Like he actually froze and stood there. Usually my husband walks close. He's about to run. Hey, baby. Yeah, apples. Don't be scared. It's okay. He left, Buck. He's not coming back. Trust me. We got no more deliveries for the day. Oh, it's so gorgeous out. Now oh, he's eating the apples. He got so scared. But baby, you got scared? I'm not gonna let them bother you. This part, like, who the hell is that truck? Did you grab the apple? You got it? You got more. But you have more here if you want. A lot of people are out today because it's so I got more right here yeah it's nobody it's okay it's okay you hear the owl again owls when they hoot it sounds so cute it's kind of cute there used to be an owl that used to hang out like on the fence a couple of feet away from my kitchen window and every morning he used to like when he used to go hoo, hoo, like he used to sound like it was so close like to the house that I used to be like, oh my God. They're beautiful too, owls. Owls are beautiful animals. Pretty big birds too. And we have a lot of hawks around here that fly all the time. But the only thing that sucks in the summer, the hawks, they'll like eat the baby bunnies. Like, cause there's always like rabbits having babies, like literally like a, a couple of feet away from the house, like on our lawn. You know how many times we find dead bunnies or half of a dead bunny, like on the floor and stuff, like literally on our driveway, like in the street, like, I'm like, oh my God. But I know, it's, it's what it is. that's what happens, I guess. I feel so bad. All right, everyone, I'm going to end this video because I want to try to talk to him a little bit more and see if he could get more comfortable because I feel bad. I think he's still a little bit nervous from before. A little bit. He calmed down, but because his head is not up looking anymore. Now he's like relaxed and actually eating with his head down. It's okay, baby. I got more apples. You want more? I got two more. I got two more apples. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Buck. See? Nobody's here. You were looking. It was nobody. It's nobody. Do you have corn? Go eat corn, baby. Go eat corn. It's okay. Let's see if he does it. Every time I tell him to go use corn, he usually listens most of the time. I'm gonna go throw this out, okay? Hold on. Let me go throw this out, okay? Stay there. I'm gonna go throw this out. Hold on, Buck. Hold on. <laughs> okay, throw out the trash. Yeah, the guy before walked right up to here. And then I stopped him. I started like whispering like, no, 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 like stop walking. I love the new sign. I think it's much better than the old one that I made. That one fits perfect. Right, Buck? Because this is your spot. This is your spot, big boy. Why don't you go eat some corn? Go have your corn. You have water in your bucket. You have more corn in your bucket. Yeah, baby, go your corn. The owl is hooting. The other day we heard two owls at the same time. First one was doing it and then the other. But now there's only one. Oh, there's a whole family taking a walk. How cute. That's nice out. My driveway looks like a street. So I always, when I'm outside with him, I always look to make sure people don't think it's rude and they try to walk down here. Right, Buck? But we have a sign in the front. 
that says it's private property. Oh, it's so beautiful out, Buck. Isn't it beautiful out, baby? Come here. What happened? What did you smell? What do you see? Do you see something? you see something I don't? I can definitely probably smell something I don't. I'm gonna go put this over here, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna clean up a mess. I should throw these apple seeds in the dirt over here to see maybe it'll pop up. You never know. It might get luck like that too. That'll just happen on its own. Let's see, is there any holes in here? We'll make a hole in the dirt somewhere here, Buck. And we'll plant these seeds. I should plant them here because the dirt's nice and wet. Here and one there. Oh, sorry, guys, I wasn't even controlling the camera. I'm just trying to plant these apple seeds and then just stick them in the dirt and see what happens. Okay, I think that's a good spot, Buck. All right, go eat some of your corn, baby. You have corn in your bucket. You just want to look? All right, you could do that too. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I will be back tomorrow morning. Right, Buck? We'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm sure he's going to eat his corn before he goes. But I don't know how long he's going to stay frozen for like this looking. <laughs> Maybe he's just enjoying the air right now and everything. Right, Buck? But there's a lot of people right now going for walks on the road. So... That's why right now he's listening. He's high alert. Hey, Buck, that's why you're on high alert. Because I hear the people walking. There's a lot of bikers out today because it's gorgeous out. I don't blame them. So, everyone, we will be back tomorrow morning. Hey, Buck, we'll be back tomorrow morning, baby. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back with another video. Everyone, thanks for watching. Yeah, he hears the people. They're definitely walking down the block. But thank you for watching. You don't want corn, Buck? It's okay, baby. Yeah, the noise right now down the block is scaring him. But thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow morning. I know, he's probably just going to hang out here now. It's okay, baby. Go your corn. Go your corn, Buck. Come on. Nobody's going to come here. I think that truck driver really like threw him off the way he like was about to walk up to us and that's why now he's very like on a high alert which I don't blame him. Oh no. Okay. All right everyone, ciao for now. I'll see you all. Well you'll see us tomorrow morning. We will be back. And today, I was right. Thank God. It turned out to be a beautiful day. It's sunny out. It's not cloudy no more. It's not cold. So hopefully tomorrow turns out to be another beautiful day like this. It'll be nice. It'll be really nice. Right, Buck? So everyone, I'll, you'll see us tomorrow morning. We'll be back.